Hello there, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the video where we walk through setting up a Huawei P40 in the UK and setting it up with the Huawei App Gallery and the Amazon App Store. Once we've done that, we'll walk you through what apps are available and what I'm doing to set this up as my personal device whilst I review it. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, so the Huawei P40, you probably already saw this in our unboxing video, is here. I've unboxed it, and what I'm going to do now is put in my SIM card. As you can see at the bottom left of the device, there's a SIM tray, and this is a nice metal SIM tray with plastic on the inside. Now, You'll see at the front here it says SIM1 and on the back it says NM, that's nano memory. You may have already seen the Tech Travel Geeks video that Lukash did, unboxing and reviewing his nano memory card for his Huawei P30 Pro. A nano memory card is exactly the same as a nano SIM card in terms of size and slots in where it says NM on the back. This is Huawei's preferred expandable storage solution and works pretty well as far as Lucas said. So there we go, I've put my SIM card in, I've booted up the device, it is charged, it still has a 56% charge, and we're going to walk through the setup with my three UK SIM card in it. So English, United Kingdom, the Queen's English. Um, I trust Huawei, and I'm going to tick that I accept that. Bear with me while I enter my complex Wi-Fi password. So there we are, we're connected to Wi-Fi, in this case Planet Express. Futurama's fans out there, rejoice. So data and pri privacy, Huawei is committed to keeping your personal data safe. In a way, I trust Huawei more than I do other companies like Facebook. So in this case, I'm going to log into my Huawei ID, bear with me. Okay then, I've set up my device by logging into my Huawei uh, account. And as you can see, you have cloud backup options. You can choose what to backup. So things like your browser data, your calendar data, Wi-Fi usernames and passwords, notes, contacts, gallery, and so forth. Uh, but you can always do that later. So I'll do this later in get settings. Now, Huawei Mobile Services is Huawei's replacement of Google's back-end services that make the Android operating system work. And this is the terms and conditions for uh, using HMS Core or Huawei Messaging Service. And I'm going to enable everything. I'm also going to enable the auto-update over Wi-Fi. Uh, let's set up fingerprint ID. That's one of the key features of the Huawei P40, especially nowadays when people are wearing face masks. Face unlock doesn't work very well if your, half your face is covered. So I'm going to set up fingerprint ID. Bear with me. So I've set a passcode and now I'm going to set up a new fingerprint. This is the in-fingerprint scanner, similar to the one we saw on the Huawei P40 Pro, but apparently is faster. Huawei say that it is up to 30% faster. And I have to say, just by putting my fingerprint on the screen, I can feel it being much more responsive. Uh, interesting. The light seems to be brighter going through uh, the screen. As you can see, my finger lights up a little bit when I put my finger down, because that's how this fingerprint scanner works. So there you go, I've set up my right thumb as my fingerprint scanner. Let's set up face recognition. Bear with me. So it gives you a bit of information on setting up face recognition. So that was very fast. Enhanced services from MUI, I'm going to do that. I'll join the user experience program and share all the analytics and location services and enable updates. 
Now, there are, these are the ways you can set up the device. This is the easier way. So if you have another device, such as an iPhone or another Android device, you can transfer your apps and services from there. If you have another Huawei device where you've backed stuff up in the cloud, you can use that. But I'm going to set this up as a new device. I always like to start afresh with a new phone. So there's new navigation gestures. So this is MUI's navigation where they're encouraging you to go through a tutorial, which we'll go for now. So going back is that way. Going forward is that way. And then if we want to go into the home screen, there you go. So let's exit, exit that. That's fairly straightforward. And as you see, no navigation buttons at the bottom. In this case, there is no app drawer enabled. And there we have it. So for those of you who've set up an Android device before, this was a bit strange. There's no Google login. There's no synchronizing of your contacts and services through Google. And that's because there is no Google on this device. That's not necessarily a bad thing, unless you're really invested in the Google ecosystem. For some people, this may actually be a plus. You may not want to have Google controlling all your data or having control over it. So let's see what apps and services are available. Now, top apps already installed. You'll see trip.com, trainpal, great travel apps to go to, to, to speak about that. Full disclosure, both Lukesh and I work for a subsidiary of trip.com. There is Office Mobile, Bing, Microsoft Translator, and a news app. So let's see what they recommend. Okay, at the moment, they don't recommend anymore. Let's go into the Huawei app gallery and see what's there. So, let's see. Reversal translator, not really interested in that. TikTok, yes, I like me some TikTok. I'm a young person. I'm not really a big fan of Rupert Murdoch's. I'm not going to take on the times. Don't know that. Solitaire, don't have time to play games. Talk Sport Live, I'm not going to select that. Deezer, that's a pretty popular music service. I'm just going to stick with TikTok and here we go, the map service. Just start with those two. And then you'll see that there are other ones here that are already installed. This is Huawei's tips for using your device. AliExpress, which I definitely will be using. The Health app, which I'll be using to synchronize my Huawei Watch GT2. Microsoft News. There's a lot of Microsoft services on here, as well as other apps. Uh, you'll see Android Q Easter Egg. That's because Huawei's MUI is running on Android, but a completely Google-less Android experience. And there's quite a few apps already installed. Okay, so done. So there's an update for the Huawei app gallery. This should be relatively fast. And there you go. Very fast update. Whoops. I'm going to skip the ad. So here we are. We're in the home screen of the app gallery. As we said, uh, there was at the beginning Microsoft apps already installed. Oh look, Amazon Shopping is there. I definitely use Amazon as well as having a link to Amazon products on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube videos, I do shop using Amazon. So there we go. Let's go through the core ones here. Microsoft. So this is what I plan on doing. Oh, this is SwiftKey, the pre-installed keyboard. I'm not interested in that at the moment. Let's have a look at the Microsoft apps installed on the uh, installable on this device. Most of them are available to update, which I'll do now. Okay then, so I have finished setting up uh, the device with the app gallery and installing my Microsoft apps. So I have Office, I have Bing as a search engine, and let's see what other apps there are that are cool in the Amazon uh, in the Huawei app gallery. So Minecraft Exploration Edition is there. 
few good games. And one other thing there is, is you get gifts. So you get free credit for features or free apps within the within the app gallery. So 36 euros new player credit for Days of Empire or Game of Sultans or World of Kings. All these games get some extra credit. But for now, I'll stop with that. As far as shopping is concerned, I think I'm covered. I have both AliExpress and Amazon. I've got a map service. I've got a search service with Bing. I've set up my email account with the email. What I want to do now is go into the browser, agree to the terms and conditions and the news service, allow the browser to do all the things it does. As you can see, this is my three account. I can go and check up on the status of my account uh, and credit. But what I'm going to do is go to here and search for Amazon App Store because this is a trusted source of apps from Amazon, which are not only curated, but also filtered. They're, they're made safe. And you can see there's quite a few apps available here. So to install this, for example, YouTube is available. So you need to download the Amazon App Store which will give you instructions on how to do so. So it's downloaded an app, the Amazon app APK. So it's going to check this and we're going to give permission to the browser to install the app. Once I have that, I'll be able to browse apps from the Amazon app store once I've logged into my Amazon account. So I'll be back in a moment. So there we are, we're logged in, and here I am in the Amazon App Store where I'll be able to get apps. So let's see what's already there that I've already installed previously that I can install here. So IMDB, useful one when you're watching TV to look things up. BBC Sounds, it's available from there. Now every time the Amazon App Store downloads an app, you will need to go through the security check that Huawei's software does, and then install it. Candy Crush, Angry Nerds, which is a free game, podcast app, Box. Now Box is, is quite important to me. There's Instagram. Audible uh, for my audiobooks, which is definitely one of my most used apps. There is a bit of a lag between downloading from the App Store and actually installing, but once that's done, it's not a problem. Now the Huawei P40 has its own voice assistant, but many are in the UK are probably used to the A word, and I'm going to install that as well. You see other apps that I've already installed or that are available. Sure. Whoops. We just set off the A word. The Fire TV app, quite handy when I can't be bothered looking for the remote control. What else is there? Threes, one of my favorite games. And here we are, the two ones that most people will be looking for, Facebook and Facebook Messenger. And the, in this case, the Roku app, because I do still have a Roku TV that I occasionally use. So there's also Twitter, Yahoo Mail, Essentially, a lot of the most popular apps are available through the Amazon App Store. So if you can't find them, for example, on the Huawei App Gallery, there is a good chance you'll be able to get the apps that you're looking for for your Huawei device here. Now, Skype might be useful. I still have a couple of friends who do use Skype. I might also want to watch some Amazon Prime Video video content on it. Yahoo Mail, I haven't used that in a while. Uh, Monument ba Valley, one of my favorite apps. The Bloomberg app. So you can see there's quite a few good apps that are here and they do work on the Huawei device. Now there may be some issues with, uh, for example, 
notifications, but bear with me a moment. I'll log into some of these accounts and show you them working. So there we are. I've logged into my Facebook account as well as to the App Store with my uh, other account. You'll see that I'm getting notifications from our chief Aperture officer who has just messaged me on Messenger and I'm getting a notification. So I'll say, smile. You are on camera. So you see, Facebook Messenger is working. Um, no issues there. I can speak to friends and family here. It also works for calls and video calls. So that's one app out of the way. Let's see about Facebook. It should be able to pick up my Facebook account from the other uh, Facebook app, which is Facebook Messenger. No, it doesn't. Bear with me. And there we are. Um, I am now logged into my Facebook account and can use the Facebook app. See what wonderful notifications I have. Peter Holden, our friend Pedro, has added a new photo to his Instagram photos. It's a TCL smartphone. So there you go. Facebook works. Um, a lot of common, frequently used apps are available through the Amazon App Store. We'll go into this a bit more in depth, but that's a quick walkthrough of how I went about setting up my device using the Huawei App Gallery, using the Amazon App Store, and installing my most frequently used apps. I can also, from here, install uh, other media apps, such as Spotify and music apps. So this is a not as big a problem as some people have been making out. Not having Google Play services in the, and the Google Play Store is something surmountable with apps from the Huawei App Gallery and the Amazon App Store. For now, thanks for watching this maybe a bit lengthy walkthrough of how I've set up my Huawei P40 using the App Gallery and the Amazon App Store. If you want to ask any questions or would you would like us to go in a bit more depth of any of the other software features of the Huawei P40, please do. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from us.